welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie, and we're glad to have you here. So today, guys, uh, we are doing an unboxing for um, a vendor wax that I've never tried before. Um, I've never done vendor wax before. And this isn't really like my first order. I've already ordered... My first order has not got here yet of the vendor that I've um, ordered from. Um, but this is like uh, the third vendor I ordered from, and it's the first one that got here. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. And, and right here, I'm going to put in a little, either a clip or a picture we're going to cut in. And um, I'm going to show you what it actually looked like when I unboxed it. It was so beautiful. So... Let me tell you, give you a little intro. Uh, sorry, guys, I worked all night, so uh, uh, yeah, I'm probably like, uh, I just, you know, when you get off work, sometimes you're like, blah, 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 blah. you got all this energy. I, I kind of get them like that sometimes too. So that's I kind of feel like that, and I got tons of stuff to do today that I want to get done. Um, so anyway, let's go back to this. So um, Second and Spruce is the name of the wax company. Um, and Erica and Slade are the owners. And, um, the way I heard about this was I was watching, uh, Susan Fitzpatrick, I believe that's her name. And I will link her channel down below. Uh, she was doing, um, an unboxing that she had just tried this company. It is a new company. Um, so she's, a, there are new, ven they are new vendors in the wax world and I've never dipped my toes in uh, vendor wax um, I've been curious about it um, you know and I don't know a whole lot about vendor wax so I decided I'm gonna go for it so I have like I said I placed three orders from three different vendors and um, so I'm waiting for those orders to come in and we're gonna get into this all right so we're gonna break away and I'm gonna show you the actual unboxing because I couldn't wait guys I, I've already been into this I couldn't wait I don't have that kind of patience I guess so um, <laughs> sorry but I just don't have the patience all right so we're gonna break away um, and I'm gonna insert a clip of when I actually unboxed it and what it actually looked like because it was so pretty I want you guys to see that okay all right everybody I wanted to take the time and show you um, my second and spruce uh, package I just got in the mail Boy, shipping was really fast. Um, I ordered this Saturday, uh, uh, Saturday night, actually. And it is now, um, I think, March 8th. And I just got this delivered. So uh, that was just super, super fast. I'm not going to do a whole video today, guys, because I'm still not feeling well. Um, I got to work tonight, and I got to get to bed. But I am going to open this up. I'm telling you that right now. So, um let me uh, unpackage this real quick and then I'll give you a shot of what's inside. Oh, how pretty. This is just packaged really, really pretty. Um, so I got a thank you card. Um, and then I got a business card from Second and Spruce. And I got a nice little note. Um, and then I got my stuff. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this, guys, and um, I am going to, I will definitely, definitely uh, film tomorrow, uh, but like I said, I need to get to bed, and um, I probably won't, um, um, and my battery is really low, guys, so I'm going to get off of here, and I'll put this in with my video tomorrow, okay? All right. Okay, we're back. Wasn't that gorgeous, guys? I just thought that was such a nice um, way to ship it, and it looked beautiful, and uh, looked really, really nice. And everything, I there was nothing damaged, um, nothing broken, or anything like that when I got it. Um, so I got, I'm going to go through and show you what everything I got. So I got like a wax melt care card, which is kind of interesting. Um, it tells you a bunch of different things about... Um, how much you should, how long you should burn your wax, and um, all kinds of different stuff. So that's kind of interesting. And then on the other side, uh, it's a thank you card. All right, and it says thank you for supporting our small business. We hope that you love your products as much as we love creating them. Second and Spruce Handcrafted Co. And then it says follow us online, and then they have their um, 
social media is down here. Okay. Um, I will link their website down below, guys. And I do believe she has a website, um, a YouTube channel as well. Um, so I'll try to link, remember to link that. And I also want to link Susan Fitz, Fitzpatrick's. Sorry, Susan, I'm trying to say your name. It just ain't coming out. <laughs> Trying to, I will try to link her channel below. You guys gotta go watch her too. She's really, really great. I really like um, just how um, honest she is about what she thinks about the waxes that she melts. And sh she's wonderful. I really like her. Okay, I also got a little letter here. So I'm gonna read this to you guys. It says, thank you for your order. We wanted to let you know that your wax goodies are all freshly poured. With that said, take all the sniffs you want, but we would suggest letting your wax cure for one month for the pour day on the label, or from the pour day on the label, to get the best performance. If you just can't wait, trust us, we get it. If you, uh, we would suggest trying a small piece after two weeks to see if you get good performance. We hope you enjoy, and thank you for your support, Erica and Slade. So that was really nice, and that's one thing I see a lot of people when they. Uh, uh, try a new vendor. They're not sure how long that they need to let the wax cure for. Um, so it is a little bit different. Um, some people, you know, say go ahead and use it. Some some vendors say, you know, you need to let it cure for a little bit. Um, and I like that each of these products, there is cure dates on. All right. So she sent me some samples. Guys. Oh, and I got a business card. Okay. So that's what the business card looks like. Get a little bit closer. All right. So I got a business card. And she sent me some, uh, I got some samples. I was like, yay! I love samples. Let me find them here. Make sure I get them all out here, guys. Okay, this is this one. I got, she sent me four samples. Um, so I didn't do a big, big order. Um, I think I spent like, it was running around, around $50, I think. And shipping was like $8 and something. Um, so it wasn't horrible. And I'll tell you what, I ordered it Saturday, this last Saturday. And then I got this yesterday in the mail. So it was like, bam, bam, bam here. Thank you very much. So, um, and they're in Pennsylvania and I'm in Indiana. Okay, so we're, I mean, we're not like super far away, but I was impressed that I got it that fast. Um, so you know me, I got a, I got a drink. I'm still not completely over this head cold stuff that I've been, so I probably still feel, sound nasally. I still feel really nasally, so bear with me, okay? And, um, let me, I'll, I'll be right back. Give me a second here. Okay, sorry, sorry about that, guys. My nose was feeling full. Of that. Okay, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to blow my nose. That way I can smell. <laughs> I'm going to need to smell. So I'm still having some issues. All right, so I got four um, samples. Now, right now, I hope she's still having it. I haven't checked the website today. But when I ordered on um, Saturday, she was having, she had um, brought out the one collection, which is a collection of, um, friends. They got all different kinds of friends stuff. Um, so this is one sample that she sent me. Second and Spruce. Um, the one collection. Extra scental perk beans. Wax melts. Their, uh, scent notes are espresso, almond croissant, cinnamon sugar donuts. And this, these were poured to February 19th, 23. So February... March. So these should be good to go. Oh, maybe not. I gotta wait till the 19th of March, maybe. I should probably wait till the 19th of March. That'd be a month. Um, but th aren't those cute? <laughs> they look like little beans. Aren't those cute? Okay, let me, let, we're gonna sniff them, guys. Now, I did order the normal size of these, of this scent, um, because I'm not so fond of espresso. But I really do like almond croissant, and I do like the cinnamon, um, what is it, cinnamon sugar donut? Yeah, cinnamon sugar donuts. Now, I smell a lot of espresso. Okay. 
Okay, let's kind of let that air out a little bit. It smells good. It really does smell good. Um, I'm not like opposed to any coffee scents. I just really never warm them. I don't know why. And in this shipment, I kind of went out of my comfort zone and just kind of went different. I didn't order things that I normally would order. I ordered kind of some things different because I want to try some different stuff. This smells good. Okay, now, now I'm getting more than just the espresso. Okay, I'm getting some almond croissant now, guys. But I'm not really getting a lot of the some of the sugar donut, but I'm getting the espresso and some of the almond croissant. Okay, so that's gonna be fun to warm. And I got two other things of that. So <laughs> if I like it, it's gonna be stuck back. Maybe I'll hide it. I don't know from who. I'm the only one that lives here. <laughs> anyway, okay, the next one um, is also from the one collection. And this is called the Extra, Extra Side of Raspberry Puree. They had something that has a side of raspberry, and I don't know if I got it or not. I'm not sure what I got, guys, to be honest. So um, this was poured February 23rd, so this one's probably not ready to warm yet. And isn't that cute? That's cute. Well, thank you so much, Erica, if you're watching um, in Slade for the samples. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. That is good. That smells like raspberry. Mm. You don't know how many raspberries I've been trying to sniff lately to find one that smells like raspberry. And this is kind of, it's not like a sweet raspberry, but it's got a little bit of a sweetness, but it's got that sourness to it. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm anxious to warm this. Because normally I just, I like, I'm like sniffing and sniffing and sniffing and I'm not finding raspberry. This I found raspberry. So that was, smells really good. I'm anxious to try that. I've not warmed any of this yet, guys. So um, I'm hoping to warm some of it today. But I got to run Violet to um, the groomers. And her nails are extremely long. I got to get that done. And um, I got to get it done today. I'm off work the next two days. But I got to get it done today because we're going to get hit with snow again. Ugh. I know, we're in northern Indiana. We're going to get hit with snow again. Um, after 7 o'clock tonight, we're supposed to, it's, just, it's supposed to be here. And I don't want to get out in, into it in, an, in it tomorrow. We're expected like 5 inches, up to 5 inches, I think, or more. So I don't want to be out in this crap tomorrow um, and dragging my little baby out in the cold. So we're going to, it's cold today, but we're going to go today and get this, some of our running done today. That way we can stay home the rest of, the, rest of the, my time off. Okay, this one, guys, is um, mango coconut milk. And the scent notes are mango, orange peel, pineapple, and coconut milk. And the raspberry did not have scent notes on it, guys. Okay, it just said extra cider raspberry puree. All right, so um, this is a heart. Isn't that cute? It's got some little glitter pieces. And that's a big size. I mean, can, I mean look at, I'm going to show you the difference here. This is like a cube, and then this, this is a good size. Um, so, I'm not, I'm going to be totally honest, I'm not really so much into mango. I'm not so much into coconut, or tropical, or even pineapple. So, this is like everything I probably really would not ever order. So, it's a, probably a good thing she sent it to me in a sample. Um, because those kind of things, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to order them, because I don't normally like like normally any of these scent notes. Mango is not that I don't like. It's just not a great thing. And even orange. I'm not like, you know, really into orange. But I actually warmed some Squeeze the Day the other day. Um, I had a tester and I warmed it in my bathroom and I actually liked it. So I am trying to, get, to venture out and get different things in my collection. So let me take a sniff here. First thing I smell is coconut, but it's a creamy coconut. It's not like a head-on coconut, coconut. And I feel like right behind, I feel like it's pineapple. Mm, it smells juicy. I mean, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't smell orange. I just smell like pineapple and the coconut. I'm not really getting like mango or too much orange. 
it smells juicy. So, and the thing is, I love pina coladas. I just don't like tropical scents for some reason. I don't know. So I am going to try this and see what I think. It smells good on cold. It really does. So that was mango coconut milk. Okay. And then I got another heart sample. And this is uh, Baja Cactus Blossom, Sparkling Citrus, Cactus Flower, Vanilla Coconut, and Sandalwood. Now, I love sandalwood. And I love vanilla. Um, so let's try it here. And this, right off the bat, reminds me of Summer Holiday by Scentsy. With a little bit more coconut in it. And also... Is it Cactus Blossom by Bath and Body Works? It, it, it has that base. It's different. It's not like the exact same. But it's different. It's got some different notes or a little bit more. I think maybe it's the sandalwood that's a little bit different. It's good though. I like this one. I really do like because I love Summer Holiday and I love Cactus Blossom. Mm, love it, love it, love it. So this one I think I'm really going to like. So, that's really, really nice. I got four nice, good size samples. That was awesome. Thank you again, Erica and Slade. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's dive into what I got, guys. Okay, I don't even know what I got. <laughs> I was so excited. And, um, yeah, so I don't even, I mean, I don't even know what, like, when they say, you know, zucchini bread, I don't know what zucchini bread is. I've never, I had never smelled it before. Um, when they talk about, um, like, other things, I don't really know what that, those scent notes are. Like, fresh bread, I've never smelt that note in a wax before. Um, so, yeah, I was, like, totally lost. But I just kind of dug in and thought, okay, I, I may like this, you know. I, I would read the scent notes. So this one, guys, it's really pretty. It's a rose, and I think I paid, I don't know, I don't even know prices, guys. I'm not even going to tell you the prices, okay? Um, but go to their website. You can check it all out. Um, this is a rose, and it is two ounces, and it's called Figgy Sugar. It is fig, which I knew I like fig, brown sugar, which I love brown sugar, and cashmere sugar, which I love cashmere sugar. And this was poured January 6th at 23. So January, February, March. This should be good to go. And oh, I didn't even show it to you. Isn't that cute? Isn't that a cute? And that's big. That's a good size. I mean, that's bigger than this, the heart, you know? That's a good size. I'm really pleased with that. I love, I'm going to love this one. I knew I would because I love the fig and I love brown sugar. And I love cashmere. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I smell that cashmere in there. I smell that fig. And the brown sugar is like, not like a standout note, but like it's underlying maybe. And I think maybe that will come out more when it warms. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sweet. Not really fruity, but more of a cashmere perfumey scent to my nose. Mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely pretty? Oh, I, I'm almost going to hate to cut into it. Mmm. 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 Wonderful, guys. So, mm, I like this. I really like that. I'm anxious to start warming all of this wonderful stuff. Okay. So, that was Fizzy Sugar. I'm going to try to hurry so I don't have the two-hour uh, video here. This one I dropped twice on my floor so it's a little damaged but it's because I damaged it <laughs> okay this is part of the one collection this one was not this one is part of the one collection which is the friends and this was the princess consuela banana hammock wax melt and this is the set notes banana bread zucchini bread sugar cookie cinnamon sugar donuts this was poured March 1st so this one I probably am gonna have to wait a little bit I I will, I'm going to wait. I'm going to try. I know. I'm not, I'm not very good. At, I'm impatient. Mm. Mm. And this is like, I don't know, like blocks. <laughs> I think it's called, I don't know what it's called. A bag of blocks or bag of something. A bag of goodness. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Now, I am not real fond of a lot of banana scents, and this doesn't smell overly banana. It smells banana breadish. Mm. I smell, I smell like some sugar in there in the donut. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. I wish I got two. I only got one. And there's, this is sold out. Yeah. So I got two, four, six, eight blocks of wax in there. And there, it's three ounces. And I wish I, I, I'll get the, I will put down below in the description box. If I don't forget, I will try to put the, all the prices of the items that I got. Okay. So you guys are, are aware. All right. Um, all right, let's move on, moving on, moving on. Okay, these two are the same. These are also from the One Collection, friends. This is called Central Perk. This has the Espresso Almond Croissant Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. It's the same as the sample, but this is the actual big form of it. I got two of them because I figured I would just really love that, guys. Isn't that cute? So Central Perk on it. <laughs> this was poured February 19th. A 23. Yes. Mm. I smell the espresso once again. It's good. It's a good espresso. It's not like too bitter or skunky. You know, some of them you smell like kind of skunky. Okay, I'm not really. That's kind of subsiding. You know, once the air hits it, and it kind of, I think that helps change it. But, um, let me take it out. Central Park. Mm. Yeah, I'm really, I, on the back, I'm smelling, I'm smelling some of that cinnamon donut on the back. I'm not really like differentiating the almond croissant. I'm not really smelling that coming out in it. But sometimes I think that comes out more when you warm it. That bakery note kind of comes out more when the heat's added to it. It smells good. It smells like an espresso with cinnamon donut. <laughs> it smells good. Mm. Mm. I can sniff these all day long. I could sniff these all day long. Okay, so that's Central Perk. Those are each two ounces each, all right? I knew I'd love them. All right, and then I got two mini loafs, guys. And I know these were $6.75 a piece. And these are each, I think, four and a half ounces, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this one was nuts for pistachio and raspberry drizzle. And it sounded so good. Miss Pistachio Macaron, Almond Cookies, Raspberry Drizzle, poured March 4th, 23. That's where I got the ra Raspberry Drizzle. I knew I, I thought I ordered something with Raspberry Drizzle. So I got an extra side of Raspberry Drizzle. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's a cute idea. Okay, and here's what it looks like. A little mini loaf. All right. And it's pistachio. Mm, mm, mm. I like that pistachio scent. It's got that. It, you do. It does smell cherryish, you know. That's how pistachio it smells. But it's different than just straight on cherry. To me, it is. Oh, that's good. Mm. Right now, all I'm smelling is pistachio, guys. Maybe on warm that will die down and some of that. Oh, wait. I got, I think I got some almond coming out. Oh, yeah. Mm. Pistachio with the almond. Okay, the pistachio kind of died down a little bit. And now the almond's coming through. And it's sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm not really getting raspberry though, guys. At this point, this was poured March 4th, so it's not quite ready yet. If I'm gonna wait for a month, 
I hope I can wait for a month. Mm. Mm, that smells so wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right, so I'm so excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? All right, the next, uh, this is the other little loaf I got. And this is called Brown Bag Munch. I thought this is really different. Um, this has set notes of peanut butter, raspberry jam, and fresh baked bread. And this was poured March 4th, uh, 23. Okay. Brown Bag Lunch. Mm. And I smell right off the bat a little peanut butter on bread. That's what I smell right off the bat. And then the raspberry is like coming in after that. But and now I'm really not getting like the, it's like a yeasty bread you can smell. You can smell that yeast in it. And now the yeast has kind of subsided and I'm getting more of the raspberry jam. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> and I, Susan said she got some of this and warmed it and it was, she said it was fantastic. And that it was really a good performer. So I'm really anxious about that. Flip it around the right way here. Alrighty, so that was brown bag lunch. Alright guys, I got this one. This one also, now these two were not part of the Friends Collection, okay? I probably should have done just the Friends Collection and then this. I kind of got a little bit of everything here. This next one is part of the Friends Collection, the one collection. And it's called You're My Lobster, which I thought was cute. And this has got Bum Bum Cream cashmere cream and sunset beach and i don't know what sunset beach is um i kind of kind of guess what cashmere cream is and what bum bum i know what bum bum is um this was poured february 19th at 23 so and this one looks a little banged up too because i also dropped this a couple times but it came i got two bars isn't that cute mm -hmm. This smells really good. I smell that bum bum cream right off the bat. Mm, with a little bit of cashmere coming in behind it. Mm. And I don't know about the Sunset Beach. I don't know if I smell anything else or not in there. Yeah. Mainly I'm smelling the cashmere cream and the bum bum. So I don't know. Maybe the beach note will come out. I don't know what that is, so sorry. Isn't that cute? It's got the little glitters on it, and so they're like little breakaway bars, and there's two of them. So I was excited about that. All right, guys, the only thing I have left is I got little clammies, I think. Oh, and they also sent me these. I think these are like stickers, which I thought was really cute. Friends. Friends. I like that. That's cute. And you can always use more friends, okay? And I hope that's what we all consider ourselves here as, is all friends. That we've all kind of come together, um, you know, for, you know, the same thing. Just, you know, because we share an interest. And that we've all become friends. And um, I know, I have met some great people on, on YouTube since I've had my channel up and running. Some wonderful YouTubers, wonderful subscribers, and I just, I feel so blessed and and happy about that. I really do. All right. So these two are a little bit smaller clammies. These are each three ounces. And these are not, I don't have any more of the Friends Collection, guys. Okay. Um, this is Cozy Vibes Wax Melt. This is in Sugar Cookie. Oh, Cozy Vibes is the name. I'm sorry. Cozy Vibes is the scent name. And this is Sugar Cookie Royale zucchini bread, marshmallow fireside, and sugar milk. And this was poured, oh, sorry, this was poured December 31st, 2022. Right at the end of the year. Oh, this is fabulous. Okay, guys, my camera keeps cutting off, and I had to go take Violet and get her nails clipped, and I found out, I was looking through my footage, and I realized, um, it cut me off, and I didn't get the last several uh, bars that I got. 
Um, so um, I'm going to be splicing all this together. <laughs> so I was in the middle of talking about Cozy Vibes. It is Sugar Cookie Royale, Zucchini Bread, Marshmallow Fireside, and Sugar Milk. And this is poured 1231 at 22. And it's pretty. Mm. I really like this. This one's like... I don't know, it's like a, just a really good bakery. It's sweet, and oh, I'm really going to like that. I know I'm going to like that, okay? So that's Cozy Vibes. I also got uh, Pistachio Macaron. And this is Pistachio Brown Sugar Vanilla Cream Baked Cookie. This was poured 1231 to 22. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like pistachio. Mm -mm -mm. Very strong pistachio. I like it. I think I'm going to love it. If you see my curtains moving or uh, the light changing, it's because my dog's over there. Violet, she likes to open the curtain up and look up the this patio door and see what's going on in the yard. Mm. That's good. That's good. I'm going to like that. So that was pistachio macaron. <laughs> All right, guys, I am having the worst luck with this film today. I'm just going to keep going. Sorry about the barking. Um, the next four was from their, I think, their Christmas. Um, I got, like, 20% off on these next four. The next, first one is Sleigh Ride. These are a little bit bigger. Clams. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> Move to the country, they say. It's quieter. Oh, yeah. No, there's more action out here in the country than there is when I was right in the middle of town. <laughs> or anyway. So, it's got pretty snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? I love that color, too. And it's sleigh ride. It's got uh, balsam, apple cider, and toasted marshmallow. And this is port 11-19-22. Which is the day after my birthday. <laughs> but this is good. Now, I didn't think I would like it because of the balsam. I'm really not a fan of tree notes. But this year, I really have kind of dived into them. And I'm actually starting to enjoy them. This is a sweet one. As long as they're not too, I don't know, too, like, um, sour. Some of them are too sharp. I guess sharp is more the word. But... I think I'm going to like that one. I really do. Okay. The next one. <clears throat> gingerbread cake pops. And this has got gingerbread, white cake, and buttercream. Poured November 12th, 22. That was my ex-husband's birthday. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. This is gingerbread heaven. It's not too spicy. It's just spicy enough. And I smell that, like, cake note in there. And the buttercream. Mm, isn't that cute? Oh, I'm going to, that I'm going to love. This is, like, right up my alley. I love bakery. Bakery is, like, my thing. All right, the next one is Honey, I Love Pears. And this is Sugar Pears, Crisp Apples, Honey, Cinnamon, and Nutmeg. Isn't that cute? Mmm. Oh, this is sweet. I smell the apple and pear. Mmm, and honey's in there. Mmm. Yeah, this one's good. This one's going to be a good one, too. Love that one. And last, guys, is one that I really didn't think I'd get. is Sweet Suds, which is a laundry. It says fresh laundry, cotton candy, and marshmallow fluff. And it does have that laundry note right off the bat. I smell that. But it comes in and then right behind it is that sweetness from the cotton candy. Mm. And that marshmallow fluff. It's not overwhelming laundry either. Not like a lot of times I'll sniff a laundry scent and I almost feel like I'm going to get a headache right away. And I don't feel like this that from this. It's not that it's not as strong. And I think this is something I'm going to like. All right. Okay, so there we have it, guys. 
Um, I think I've already got an ending, so I'm not going to do an ending right now. We'll just cut to there. <laughs> I've had a heck of a day. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Subscribe, like, and comment. Love you guys. Bye-bye.